We often resist challenges pushing them away. We don't like to feel uncomfortable or push to go outside of our comfort zone. But if we resist the challenges that life throws at us, we may be preventing ourselves from becoming the best version of ourselves that we can be. We know that a diamond is just a lump of carbon that was put under pressure. So this gives me hope that beautiful things can come out of challenging times. And to remind you what a beautiful shining diamond you are, we have a brand new crochet pattern for you today called Adamas. The word diamond comes from the Greek word adamas, which means unconquerable or indestructible. So we hope you remember when you're making and wearing this shawl that you know how strong and how capable you are. So this diamond inspired shawl by Elizabeth Carr is an amazing design suited to the adventurous beginner. It just uses basic stitches throughout. So the solid sections consist mainly of double crochets and chains and the spaces create the look of diamonds. You also have this beautiful diamond lattice section which also resembles little diamonds. And so those sections are just repeated throughout the shawl. So you get this really striking shawl that looks complicated to make but it is quite simple. I think you are going to absolutely love this one. And to add to the gorgeousness, it's a gradient. So it starts with this beautiful creamy pale blue and fades into this richer dazzling blue. To make this pattern you're gonna need three colors of sport weight yarn and we use our luxurious hand-dyed Mirage sport yarn. It has cashmere and camel in it. It is so soft. The kit we use to make this is called Weekend Hues and the colors are so soothing and so wearable. If you would love to win a set of this gorgeous yarn just make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and comment below letting me know your favorite gem or stone. If you would love to download the pattern and grab the yarn those are both available at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there on the site, go ahead and sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. So let's get started learning how to make this shawl. If you would love to follow along, grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started with the solid diamond section. Begin the solid diamond section, go ahead and work a slip knot and we'll begin with a chain four. One, two, three, four, and then slip stitch to the first chain to form a loop. Now we're gonna be working into the center of that loop. So for row one, you're going to start with a chain two and then work three double crochets into the loop. One, two, three, and then chain two, and then three more double crochets also into that same loop. One, two, and three. For row two, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with a chain two. And we're gonna work three double crochets into the very first stitch. One, two, three. Then we're gonna chain one and you're gonna skip one. Then you're gonna work one double crochet into the next stitch. And then into this space here, you're gonna work two double crochets one, two, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Then you're gonna work a double crochet into the next stitch, a chain one, skip that next stitch, and then into the final stitch, you're gonna work three double crochets. One, two, and three. For row three, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with a chain two, and we're gonna work three double crochets into the first stitch. One, two, three. Then we're gonna work a double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're gonna chain one and skip one, and then work one double crochet into the chain one space then chain one and skip one and then work two double crochets so one here and one here there's one and two now we're at our little center space here so we're going to work two double crochets into that space chain two two double crochets so that's the center spine of our shawl Should look like that. Then you're gonna work two double crochets, so one each into the next two stitches. One and two. And then chain one, and you're gonna skip this one and you're gonna work a double crochet into the chain one space. 
and then chain one. You're gonna skip one and then work one double crochet into the next stitch. Then you'll finish off with three double crochets into that final stitch. One, two, and three. So here's what you'll have so far. You've got your corners of your triangle. This is the center spine of your shawl and it's gonna to continue to grow this way. So the rest of that section continues on in a similar manner with double crochets and chains. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into row 18. For row 18, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with a chain two and you're gonna work three double crochets into the first stitch. One, two, and three. Then you're just gonna work one double crochet into each stitch and each chain space until you reach the center. And you'll have a lot more stitches than this, of course. So just one double crochet into each stitch across. Make sure you put them into the chain spaces as well. And work all the way to the center of your shawl. And then we'll continue on as we have been before for the center of our shawl. You're just gonna work two double crochets into that chain space, chain two, and two double crochets. So there's our center. And then to continue down the other side of your shawl, you're just gonna do the same thing. Just work one double crochet into each stitch and into each chain space all the way down to the end. So continue all the way down. When you do get to the very end and you're ready to work into your final stitch, you're gonna work three double crochets into the very final stitch. One, two, and three. For row 19, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with a chain five. Three, four, five. And we're gonna skip three, so skip, skip, skip. And we're gonna slip stitch into that next stitch. Then you're gonna chain five, two, three, four, five. Skip three, skip, skip, skip. And you're gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. And you're gonna repeat that all the way down to the center. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two, three, slip stitch into the next. And when you get to three stitches before your center, you're gonna chain five. You're gonna skip those three and you're gonna slip stitch over here. Make sure you're on the right side of this center chain two space. Then you're gonna chain five two, three, four, five, and slip stitch, making sure you're over here towards the left side of that chain space. And then you're gonna continue repeating down this side, chain five, four, five, skip three, skip, 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 and slip stitch into the next stitch. And repeat that all the way down. Four, five, skip, 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 slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, skip, skip. Slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, skip, skip. And slip stitch into the end. Into the end. For row 20, we're not gonna start with a chain. We're gonna go ahead and start right away with two single crochets. And we're working into the chains. So start with your first single crochet into that first chain and then another single crochet into the next chain. Then into that third chain, you're gonna work single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So all of that into that third chain. Then into the fourth chain, you'll work a single crochet, and into the fifth chain, a single crochet. Then we're going to slip stitch around the slip stitch from our previous row, so we don't wanna go into it, you're gonna go underneath it, so down here. So slip stitch around that stitch. And you're just gonna continue that all the way to the end of your row. Working your single crochets into your chains and your slip stitches around the slip stitches from the previous row. 
single crochet, single crochet into the third one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, one single crochet into the fourth, one single crochet into the fifth, and then slip stitching around the slip stitch from the previous row. And when you get to the end, just finish off in the same way. So single crochet, single crochet into the next one, work your single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and finish off with single crochet in the next chain and single crochet in the final chain. For row 21, we're gonna start with a chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna turn, of course, and we're gonna skip three. So skip the first three stitches and you're gonna slip stitch into the chain one space. Then you're gonna repeat across chain five, three, four, five. You're gonna skip six and you're gonna slip stitch into the next chain one space. So continue repeating that. One, two, three, four, five, slip stitch into the next chain one space, all the way around to the end of your row. And when you do get to the end, go ahead and finish off with a chain seven, four, five, six, seven, and you're just gonna slip stitch into your final stitch. So here's what we've got. This was our solid diamond section here. And this begins our beautiful diamond lattice section. And then the rest of the section continues on in a very similar manner. Very simple, very straightforward. Just a lot of repeating these same types of stitches in rows. So I'm gonna stop here. I hope the tutorial was helpful for you so that you now have all the tools you need to make this beautiful shawl. And of course, all the details for you are in the pattern PDF. Remember today what a beautiful treasure you are. No matter what anyone says or how they may treat you, you are a gem with beautiful gifts to offer this world. So take care now, and I will see you next week with another new pattern. Bye-bye.